control legs of flexibility, we are working on drills for students with tighter upper back and shoulders to help them find control alignment and opening. This is drill number three, and this is one of our most important ones because it's our first full body drill. So you can see how tight shoulders um, also often come along with a difficulty bringing the ribs and the core in, and then also um, tight hip flexors can be affecting the whole package, and sometimes we struggle then with finding the backs of the knees. So we're gonna see how that translates into our handstands. So if she picks up into a handstand, you'll notice that immediately that same position wants to repeat. And as much as we say pull your ribs in or straighten your shoulders or open your armpits, that's not going to translate for the student. So go ahead and come down from there. She's gonna go ahead and show us the next drill. This is drill number three. Make sure that before you do drill number three, go ahead and put your strap on, Melissa. Um, she's gonna use a strap for her elbows as she's in this exercise because she has carrier's elbow. Um, this little strap around her elbow helps her feel a little bit more straight and control, but she can find her alignment. Um, so you can feel free to use that strap for students who have that issue. If you don't have that issue going on, you can do this exercise without a strap. Um, go ahead and set into the exercise, Melissa. And students, before you get into the exercise, make sure you warm up with a hip flexor stretch and a shoulder stretch before so that you're all ready and set to go. That's really important because otherwise you're not gonna be warmed up enough to do this drill properly um, from your lightness and from your lengthening. You're gonna be struggling with that. So you can see that she's using a bar at the top. Um, Melissa, could you bring your hands down again and then re-thread your hands through so we can see? She's putting her arms through the two bars so that she can block her forearms with the frontal bar. And you could do this, um, if you could do it on your knees if you have to, if you don't have this type of bar against the ballet bar, um, or if you have a standing bar, it works great. Um, or you could even put your hands up against the ceiling. You could stand on a mat and put your hands up against the ceiling. If you don't have any type of bar to push against, you can push against the ceiling instead of having a bar in front of your arm. Bar in front of your arm is gonna be a little easier. So you can see already, just from having that little push there, that little control, it's a bit easier for her to bring her ribs in. Now she's going to really focus on trying to bring the ribs in and trying to extend the shoulders back as much as possible. So we're trying to think back and lengthened, and at the same time that she's keeping her ribs in, so you can kind of see her struggling between the two positions, that when she thinks that the up and the lengthening into the shoulder shrug position, immediately her ribs want to come out. So finding that ribs in plus the shoulder shrug lengthening up through the lightness and the strength support of the shoulder, making sure that the arms don't twist, the shoulders don't twist, everything straight. And then also it's really important to not um, squeeze too much with our bum. You can have a light glute connection there, but to feel the relaxation at the front of the hip flexors and feel the backs of the knees lengthening into the wall so that we're trying not to clench or grip from our glutes or from our quads. We're trying to feel the opening, the lengthening of the hip flexors, the extension from the back of the knees, the ribs coming in, and the shoulders up, 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 and pushing away and lengthening from us. Great job, Melissa. Now, Melissa, would you go ahead and try and see if that translates into your handstand a little bit better? So she's going to go ahead and come down, and you can keep the strap on, Melissa, if you feel comfortable, or you can take it off. She's going to go ahead and try to kick up into her handstand and really think about that length. So now lifting those ribs in, in, in. Find those ribs, find those ribs, yes. And lifting the shoulders up, 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 up. Feeling the extension of the toes, good. Feeling the ribs coming in. Remember the hip flexors opening. Ribs in, you can do it. Ribs in, hip flexors up. And lifting through the shoulders much better. Good job.